this time. And I am happy and pleased to present Teresa, who is going to be um, presenting on the importance of loyalty rewards programs and specifically what repeat rewards can offer Paladin customers. This is a, an extremely important subject matter, which is uh, getting more and more, uh, becoming more and more required these days because of all the competition where your customers are being siphoned out from big box stores and, and other retailers, as well as um, the internet. So connecting with your clients, your customers is one of the most important things. So um, Teresa, I'm going to turn this over to you now to uh, continue with your introduction since mine was pretty light. And uh, thank you so much for, uh, for being with us today. Absolutely, and uh, thank you for this opportunity, and thank you all for joining in on this uh, webinar. So we're going to go over just a lot of overview and highlights of what Repeat Rewards can bring to the table for you and how we can help you get your, you know, uh, whether it's a pharmacy or a hardware store, to that next level um, with our marketing services. So a little bit about who we are and Repeat Rewards. We have been in business and providing marketing services since 1986. Uh, when we first went into business, we actually really were starting with corporate programs. Uh, I don't know if any of you remember Sam Goody or Musicland. We actually built the infrastructure of that program. We housed their call center. Um, and, you know, the music industry back in the late 90s was kind of changing course and going digital. At that time, we decided to who is going to be our next focus, um, who needs our services, and who's going to need them in the future more so. Uh, we decided to then... Uh, move our focus to independent business owners. Uh, they're the ones that were gonna need our help as from what we could see in the future. The big corporate programs could bring those programs in house. So we moved our focus to that. We launched Repeat Rewards back in uh, about 2000. Uh, we started uh, launching and putting people on this program back in 2001. And uh, we are in many different vertical markets, but one market that we're very heavy in is independent hardware stores and I personally work very closely with that market. Um, I have been with Repeat Rewards since 2004 and really built relationships in the hardware industry through the different co-ops, whether that be Orgill or United Hardware or any one of them under that distribute, you know, the DA group, which would be your House Hassan, your Blish Mize. So I've been working very uh, subtly in this market. I uh, have been doing that since 2009 uh, is when I really got into the hardware industry. So I really know what's trending well in the market and really what's working. Uh, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. We can help you out. Let's talk about the value of a loyalty program. Uh, loyalty programs, you know, the one thing you can do with, with a loyalty program is we want to retain who you have. You know, we want to increase those sales by encouraging repeat visits, and that's going to be through targeted marketing. But the other thing with the value of a loyalty program is going to be lowering those advertising costs. When you're advertising through, whether it be the newspaper, radio, uh, TV, uh, billboards, whatever it might be, it's really hard to track those results. What are you getting back? With the loyalty program, it's all trackable. Everything we send out has a code on it, so we know who's coming in, who's using it, how much are they spending, what is working well. So now you've got the trackability behind that advertising as well. Repeat Rewards offers you a branded program. This is not a program that looks like Repeat Rewards. It's going to look like your store. So everything that goes out, whether that be email marketing, direct mail marketing, you want membership cards, it will have your brand on it and your look. One of the things we do that not a lot of others do is that combination of email, direct mail marketing. Uh, we know that you have some older clientele. There's also some challenges in certain areas of the country, whether that be if it's an Amish community, email marketing is not going to work if those are your customers. So um, older customers, a lot of times email marketing is not going to be effective for them. So we can go ahead and send out email as the primary method for this program. But if they don't have that email address or they opt out, we can turn around and send it out direct mail if you'd like. Behind the, re behind the program is the a web portal, as well as a dashboard. You can download that on any smartphone, on a tablet. You can even put that link on a computer. But it's a way to kind of get a good overview of how your program is working at a high level. 
the back end portal will go more in depth and in detail with those reports. So you can see you know exactly what's going on, what's working, how much, how many members you have, how much are they spending. We want to help you promote the program, so we do create custom signage for you. We'll send you the digital uh, images to go to your local printer. We'll also send some buttons for the staff to wear, you know, kind of get rewarded. So it kind of calls out the program. Some signs that you can put right at point of sale uh, and the front door, just letting them know about your program, uh, letting them know that you have this offering and to get them to join your program. The other thing we have is a marketing specialist here to really help get your program to that next level and make sure it is successful for you. So we don't just give you the program. We're going to go ahead and, you know, educate you on what's working well. We have an onboarding specialist to take you to set through the steps of the program and then that marketing specialist to continue working with you for the success of the program. One of the things that we will offer all of you is this social tracker. We want to, what that does is it can monitor what your competitors are doing. We can do that through Facebook and their Twitter feeds. So you can pick up to 10 different businesses. They don't have to even be in your area, but it could be maybe some in your area that are doing a great job. You want to kind of see what they're doing with their marketing through those platforms. Uh, I could be, Maybe even one of the big black stars, what are they doing with their social uh, media marketing? So what we do is we'll just track it. We'll send you an email once a day on their last post of that day or their most recent post. So you don't have to be watching that, but you also do see these feeds on your back end portal. So it's a great way to kind of see what they're doing and kind of get your business to the next level as well. So how it works. Uh, Paladin, it's really easy to enroll your members with this platform. It's as easy as just scanning their driver's license and now they are enrolled in the program. Asking them a couple things, one of those is that email address because that's part of our marketing platform. So once they've enrolled, now we track how often are they coming in, how much are they spending, and that information is also sent to us through your point of sale. So we get that feed in real time so that when they get to that level of the reward. So they're going to earn one point, for example, for every dollar spent. And maybe it's going to be at 250 points they qualify for that $5 reward. We'll automatically deduct those 250 points. We'll email out that reward or direct mail or that combination for them to come on in and use at your store. There is an expiration date. We do want some sense of urgency to get them back in. That's what this is all about. So they come back in, they use that reward, and they start that cycle all over again. The other part of this program, and this is what makes it the success it is, is going to be the targeted marketing campaigns we can do for you. So first and foremost is that reward. Uh, we'll send that reward as they qualify, but we can also send reminder emails to them if they have a reward or an offer that's about to expire. So let's say they have an offer it's going to expire within five days. We can automate it where we send them an email just saying, hey, don't forget to come on in and use that birthday offer or that reward offer or that welcome offer, whatever the offer is. So really helps increase your redemption rates by that reminder program. Another thing we want to do is help you build your customer base. Uh, we can offer a new movers program where we can target people that are just moving in to your area. They, these are people that have just moved within the last 30 days, letting them know about your store with an offer to get them to come on in. We'll get them in the store with the offer, and then your job is to get them to join the loyalty program so we continue marketing to them. Now, we can also do other customer acquisition campaigns. Maybe you want to target a certain zip code. Um, you're just not drawing a lot of customers from that area. We can target just zip codes to get people in the door. There's many different ways we can target um, based on what type of demographic you want to go after. So we'll get those demographics, go ahead and see how many names are available and get you a quote based on that. We can do seasonal and event campaigns. So let's say you want to do a customer appreciation, or maybe it's Small Business Saturday, or you have maybe you have product you want to clearance out and you want to do like a brown bag sale. We can even do that. Create a postcard that actually looks like that brown bag. You have the brown bags in your store. For them to come on in and fill it up and everything they can fit in that bag, they get 11% off or whatever it might be. The other thing we can do is going to be your birthday campaigns. Birthday is the number one offer that is redeemed after the reward. Everybody loves something for their birthday, so why not send, send them an offer? Maybe it's $5 off a $20 purchase or more. 
It's only going to be valid the month of their birthday. With our email marketing, we know that people can show an email multiple times. But with Paladin, once it's been redeemed, they used it once, it will be invalid. They can only redeem it one time. We can do other things such as the welcome email, our direct mail piece going out. We can do things for VIP programs. So think of your uh, contractors or uh, you know your high spenders. We can create a program within a program is what it would be. So it's still under all one database, but we can treat those differently. Uh, you, if you're already discounting to them, you want to think twice about adding another discount to that, or maybe you want to get them off that upfront discount and put them into this VIP program where they could earn a rebate, if you will, based on a percentage of their sales that they would have to use back at your store. So it's just another way to keep them shopping with you so they don't get the upfront, but they get that discount eventually, but they use it in your store. We can also do anything for seasonal, holiday, uh, customer appreciation, like I said. So pretty much anything you can think of, we can do a campaign towards. Another part of this platform is our mobile app. You know, when you're dealing with your customer base, you have your demographics are all over the board, age-wise. And, you know, marketing to them the same way isn't really that effective anymore. You know, your older clientele, the direct mail is going to be more effective. You know, your baby boomers, email marketing is fine. Even your millennials, email marketing is fine. But we do find that the mobile app is something that is really geared towards those millennials who are always on their phone anyway. They don't have to carry a card. Um, they can just enroll through the app. All their offers are on the app. Uh, push notification is part of that marketing platform to the app, so you can send out a push to your members. Maybe you want to clearance out some sort of uh, product and just let your members know, hey, you're first in line to take advantage of this offer. Uh, we can also do geofencing. We'll target them when they're within range of your store, whether that range is a quarter mile, half mile, a mile. You determine what that range is. We can send that message out to them when they come within range to try to change the behavior to get them in your store shopping with you. Also, if you ever have, like, maybe the pop-up images could be used for if you have new products coming in. Uh, maybe you have an event coming up, maybe a how-to workshop coming up. Maybe it's ladies' night. Uh, a lot of hardware stores are doing ladies' nights and are very successful with those programs. So we can market that out through push notification, through email marketing, or through the pop-up images as well. There, is, there are two features within this app that we can have turned on if you would like. Uh, one of them is that e-visit check-in. Now, the e-visit check-in is we set the GPS coordinates of your store. So now they've got to come into your store, open up the app, and check in. When they check in, they can earn bonus points if you want, or it can be check in six times to earn an offer of $5 off a $25 purchase or more. And maybe that offer is only valid like 14 days because we really want them to come back in. So we'll get them in the store with the e-visit check-in and your job once they're in the store is to upsell them. The other feature on the phone is the gaming feature. So it's like a spin to win. So you can see it on the blue phone, uh, kind of in the middle there. You click on that, they spin the wheel, they can spin it once a day, and they can spin it from wherever they are. Behind those 12 pie pieces is going to be some sort of offer or message. The message could be try again tomorrow. Um, it could be a free house key. It could be $5 off a purchase of $40 or more. You determine what you want under there if you want that feature turned on. That offer is designed to be a very short uh, expiration, meaning maybe two days is all you want to give them to come on in and use that offer. So that can be turned on or off as well as that e a check-in. You determine if you want those on your app. Um, and if you think that'll be effective marketing for you. Now, we also want to help build the customer base through the Refer Friend program. You know, with your members, you might as well let the members be the spokespeople for your business. How it works is a member, if I was a member of your loyalty program, I, there's a link on the member portal. There would be a link right in the phone or a button on, your, on the uh, mobile app. Any email that goes out, the link will be on the email, where they just have to click it on the email. I'd click it, put in my friend's email address, type a message to my friend, letting them know to, number one, you got to check out this hardware store. You got to go on in, 
and try out this loyalty program. The friend knows what they need to do is click on that link within the body of that email and join your program that way. So they join the program. Now they have one more course of action to do, which is to come on in now and make a purchase. Once they've joined the program and made that purchase, the friend who referred them can get bonus points or an offer. Most common is, you know, refer once the friend does those two actions, the friend that referred them gets 50 bonus points. So another feature of the program to help build your customer base. And then the customer survey program is, you know, you really don't know what's wrong if you're not getting the feedback from the customers. So the survey program is more important. I mean, happy customers, we all love to hear what they have to say. Uh, but more important, what if somebody had a negative experience? If they have, you know, once they fill out this survey, and if they have that negative experience, you get the results of all of these surveys. So you can take that course of action to make it right. So with our surveys, if they give you a high rating, meaning a four or five star, then we will prompt them to post it to one of your social sites if you would like to create, you know, that getting more positive reviews out there on the social sites that you have. Uh, we can do two different types of surveys. Uh, one can be your standard survey where, you know, four or five questions. Uh, the other type of survey is a hybrid where it's maybe just two questions. After they've completed those two questions and earned bonus points for doing so, uh, we can prompt them to continue on to a more in-depth survey to earn more bonus points so you get more feedback. But that way, if somebody is not really into taking surveys, but I'll answer two questions, at least you get some feedback. When you do your surveys, you just want to make sure one of them is one of those star rating questions so that, you know, if they do give you that four or five star rating, they, we can prompt them to post that to one of your social sites. Surveys can go out after they've joined the program. It can be after they've made a qualifying purchase. You can limit how often they get a survey, meaning I don't want them getting a survey more than once every 180 days, for example. So you have all the power in how you want that survey program to work. We'll automate it on the back end. And that's the nice thing about this entire program is once they've joined the program, all of this is going to be automated for you. We also have a lot of different um, options with the program. Text messaging is one of them if you want to send out a text message to all your members, you have the ability to do so through our program. We do data cleansing services, uh, NCOA, we run that every uh, quarter. We also do duplicate elimination once a quarter. There's no need for them to be in this system more than one time. Address standardization, anytime an address is entered into the system, uh, we do run it against the Postal Services software to make sure it is a valid mailing address. We don't want to mail something that's not going to get there and uh, waste money that way. We can also do things like deceased suppression. Um, so we can see who has passed away so we're not marketing to people that are no longer <laughs> members of yours. So let you know who has passed away so that marketing stops. Um, as well as email append, we can try to find email addresses. If you have a database that has no email addresses or very limited email addresses, we can try to see if we can find more of those for you. We also, um, member support, uh, that's one of our services that we offer here so that members, your members can email into us if they have questions about um, not receiving an award, their points, they didn't earn points on one of their transactions. Um, if you want us to take care of that service for you, we can. We also have member and the merchant portals that we could actually send you links to embed into your website. So we want to push them towards your website versus myrepeatrewards.com. They can log in, see how many points they have, their recent transactions, as well as how many of their friends that they referred took the actions to get them those bonus points. We can also send an online enrollment link so they can enroll through, um, to your program through your website. Uh, so that's another option. We can send those links to embed it right into your website. Bonus point specials we can do. Uh, think of double points. Um, a lot of uh, hardware stores, you know, typically a slower day maybe is Wednesday. Tuesday, a lot of time you're getting your product in. Uh, so you could run double points maybe the first Wednesday of every month. We'll double the, you know, points on those transactions during that time, trying to build business on those slower days. You can also run those if it's maybe Small Business Saturday and you want to run a double point for that day. Uh, if you have the ability to do so, right on the back end portal, you can uh, set those up or just call our support staff and they'll set it up for you as well. So 
You can also do some point customization, meaning if it's something that has a low margin product, maybe you don't want them to receive that point per dollar. Maybe the only one on gas powered equipment, for example, maybe only um, a quarter point per dollar spent or lumber. Maybe it's only a quarter point per dollar spent. So we have the ability to do all of that on our end. Uh, you just let us know what it is that you need. But we also offer additional services as well, like website design and hosting. So if you don't have a website or you have a website that's just in need of kind of freshening it up, um, we can take care of that for you, you know, kind of rebuild that site, as well as take care of the hosting, which is really us updating content to that site. Images, you have 30 minutes a month for us to uh, do any content change or image changes to your website. We have a gift card program as well as an e-gift card program. So uh, you can actually sell gift cards right from your website as well, the e-gift card program. Social media management. If you need help in that area, if you're not active in the social sites you really need to be, uh, we have a specialist here that can go through kind of an analysis with you, a consultation call, seeing what you're doing, and maybe see what we can do to help you out in that area and take over your social media marketing for you if you'd like. We do, again, all kinds of promos, coupons, direct mail, new movers, you name it, we can do that. We have graphic designers right here in-house that will design all of this so it does follow your brand. Uh, signage, we want to help promote your program uh, through our signage platform. So you do get the custom, the digital signage at no charge that's included. We want to help you promote the program, as well as you will get some buttons, like I said, some uh, signage at your point of sale that you can put up. We want to really help promote the loyalty program. But your biggest person, or your, your, the, the one that's going to promote your program the most is going to be your staff. So uh, we can also do a training with your staff to let them keep them up to date on this program so that they're excited and get more people joining. The dashboard is going to be where you're going to go to find out what is working with this program. Um, there is many different reports on the back end. One of the reports, though, we have this enrollment goal that you can set, and it keeps your staff accountable as well. I mean, we can't do much for you if we don't have members. I mean, that's the key. We've got to get these members into the program, so we should continue to see membership growth month after month after month. So everybody that comes in asking them that question, if they have that their membership card with them or if they're a part, you know, member of the program, if you're going with a cardless program using the phone number option, uh, and it's just going to be as easy as taking that driver's license if they're not and enrolling them in the program right away so they can start earning points. So we've come up with some um, exclusive offers for the Paladin users that have opted in to listen to this webinar. And also for those that couldn't make it to the webinar, we still will offer this uh, special pricing. So you'll see quite a savings. We have the retail price, um, but then in the specials area, you'll see what you will receive the program for. Um, so all that I need to know is that, you know, if you're a Paladin user and you want to sign up for the program, just let me know that you attended the webinar or you heard the webinar and we can go ahead and get you the special pricing as well. So how to get started with Repeat Rewards. First thing is I need uh, contact me. I will go ahead and send you a proposal based on what services you would like. After that has been done, once you complete that proposal, then I'll go ahead and schedule a short implementation call, which would be with our on onboarding specialist, our marketing specialist, and myself. So we'll map out your program, how you would like that set up. After we've done that, we're going to go ahead and launch the program for you. And you do have that onboarding specialist that's going to guide you each step of the way. And then you're done. Now you can get back to what is important to you, your store. So at this time, um, if you have any questions for me, I'd be happy to answer those. Yeah, Teresa, this is Charles. Okay. Thank you for that. That was incredible. That was really uh, fantastic, actually. And just to let everybody know, Paladin partnered up with uh, Repeat Rewards back in 2015 because we understand the importance of store branding and marketing. And these are things, especially when it comes to um, just a continual touching of that customer to to uh, keep them as a, as a loyal customer to your store. Uh, Actually, next month, we're going to have the second part of this, which is actually going to show how Paladin is integrated with Repeat Rewards and vice versa. It is truly seamless. 
as Teresa was mentioning, when somebody signs up for a repeat rewards account and they come into your store, all the cashier has to do is put in their phone number or their or their number and it will automatically pull that information directly from repeat rewards and put it in Paladin. And vice versa, you can sign up people in your store for the repeat reward system just by adding them as a customer. And all of this can be done right from invoicing. We've added a, a button on there. If they're not part of the rewards program, it'll be highlighted and it'll say sign up now where the cashier can sign them up. It's it's uh, it's very important to, to do this. There is a question though, Teresa, that, that I had. I don't see a whole lot of questions. Folks, if you have any questions, go ahead and fill out the text below and we'll go ahead and address them. I don't see any, oh, I do see a question here actually. Just my window is very small. Uh, it says, is the gaming option on the app an extra cost? It is not. So everything I showed you um, on that slide, so for that, um, and I'll go back to the pricing if you want, um, that is just an added feature. It's not an added cost. So if that's something you would like, um, absolutely. We can add it. Great. Great. And the question I had is, how do you handle the multi-store? Uh, multi-store is, you know, we can link them together so that members, you know, they just join at one location. Um, they're still going to be then members of both locations. They can earn and accrue points and use offers at either one of those locations as well. Fantastic. Great. Are there any more questions out there? Well, if not, I, again, Teresa, I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you so much for putting this presentation together for Paladin and our and our customers. I. I definitely see the value and I hope I hope our customers will see the value of this moving forward as everybody knows we do have a rewards program built in the system but it is not as elaborate and extensive as this when it comes to continually touching the customer uh, it is this is really something that you should consider and uh, next month a month from today actually on March 6th come back to this uh, webinar we're having part two and I'm actually going to bring up the Paladin system we're going to show you exactly what happens at checkout when uh, a customer signs up for repeat rewards and how easy and simple it is to uh, to achieve this all right if there's no more questions I'd like to again thank everybody for attending appreciate your time today hope this was valuable and we'll see you next time. Thanks again, Teresa. Take care. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time, all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sure. Bye-bye.